Well, we are calling all wizards and muggles. You have one more week to hop on the Hogwarts Express and head to the Harry Potter pop-up bar at Replay Lincoln Park. And joining us this morning is Replay bartender Michael DeClean with a look at what you can expect if you visit. Thanks so much for coming in. Hi. So this is a really interesting concept. This truly is for every Harry Potter lover and also those who have people in their lives that would like to join and experience that for the first time. Oh, yeah. Tell us about the event. Um, so we have a team of like, I'd say six core artists that have built us this amazing sort of Harry Potter wonderland in the back room of our bar that has a bunch of different set pieces. There's uh, Ollivander's Wand Shop, Honey Duke's Candy Store, there's the Forbidden Forest, the Weasley's Flying Car, a bunch of different little knickknacks and Easter eggs for people to find out about. So what's interesting about this too is you're having it during the holiday season. Why the inspiration to have it during the Christmas holiday and Hanukkah as well? Uh, I think because Harry Potter is something that isn't super holiday specific, but it does feature themes of wintertime and holidays throughout all eight of the movies. Um, so it's something that we definitely had a lot of fun with during the holidays and we can extend it a little past that without feeling weird about it. And as the bartender at Replay Lincoln Park, the drinks that you're going to be featuring are truly inspired by oh, yeah. Harry Potter. Among them, the Dragon's Bloodshot. Tell us about this. Uh, that's a fun one. Um, I think the inspiration behind that was just to come up with something that looked and tasted like Christmas. So we used the Bailey's Red Velvet Liqueur, uh, which is a seasonal release, and then the uh, Chocolate Camorra Liqueur to kind of smooth things out. Um, it looks almost like a milkshake. I'm going to try. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Tie one on. Uh-huh. It's five o'clock somewhere. It I is. know he's like, I want one. That is really good. Yeah, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. It is. It'll sneak up on you. Oh yeah. With some crushed ice. And the next one, Wolf's Bane Potion. What's right. in this? Uh so this is it's got old overhaul rye. It's one of America's oldest uh produced whiskeys. Um mm -hmm. a little bit of natural sugar syrup and some chocolate bitters. It's kind of a riff on an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Um and the inspiration behind that was we wanted to have something whose bite was as big as its bark, because Wolfsbane's kind of a, a harsh name, so we wanted a nice... All right, well, I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. It smells really nice. Ooh, that barked, roared, and smoked. <laughs> that was a lot going on right there. Very strong, but good. And now you're going to make something for yeah, us, one um, of your featured cocktails. I'm going to finish up making the buttered beer, which is probably the most prominently featured drink in the Harry Potter books and movies. Hmm. So it starts with equal parts butterscotch schnapps and vanilla vodka. I can smell that from here, too. It yeah, smells very nice. It is quite potent. Hmm. And then we're just going to give this a gentle shake. And what's the secret combine. when you're mixing something like this? Is it really like having a lot of cold ice? Just making sure you measure properly. What do you think know. the trick is as a bartender? Do it with love. Oh, Make sure you care about it. Use with love. At least a little bit. Okay. So you just mix those two things together and then you mm -hmm. top it with the beer? It's going to be Inca Cola. It's a Peruvian sort oh. of cream soda. Okay. Well, not technically cream soda, but it certainly tastes like it. And it's got a funky green oh, color, that's which is pretty. quite nice. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to give it a little bit of this stuff. A different kind of shake at 7.50 a.m. How beautiful is that? And I get to try it. Very nice. Wow. It's like an orange sickle mixed with like vanilla. It is really good. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Michael DeClean, again, thank you so much for coming in. The Very Hairy Christmas Pop-Up runs through January 5th. 